Next up, game 12, Pool B play with Samoa and Scotland set to go at it. I'm Sean Maloney, joined in commentary by X New Zealand 7's superstar Carl Tanana and KT. This Samoan team, well, they hit it running on day one. They were very, very impressive. Got the highest score yesterday, 50 points. They look very confident. That was the thing for me to come out in this game after beating New Zealand and Singapore and hit the ground running here in Paris. Yeah, they are a team working in a form at the right time of the year, Samoa. Still chasing Olympic qualification. And, well, we saw, as you say, KT, in that last tournament in Singapore, Samoa tuning up PG in their opening match there. So they are a side who can test the big-name sides. And here they're up against a Scottish team who went down against a rampant Fijian lineup yesterday. So they're looking to get back in the winner's circle here against Samoa. It won't be easy, but Scotland have some... Samoa ready? Excellent players to call on. The boys ready? Then Kraus, our referee for this one. <laughs> Scott White sends it high, plenty of hang time on that one, and Samoa do well to bring it down unfortunately though it comes to the midfield and the usually reliable hands of Samoa Toloa go missing yeah they've been so great at kickoff time of the Samoan team silly silly we know how good he is Tapili also is really starting to stand up in their four pack but for me the Scottish front three a very very good Scott Riddell Black Blake Mark Robinson have been around for a long time if they can match Samoa physically Scotland are a chance here they're going to have the perfect opportunity here to jag first points. Good footwork from Hoyland. Bunnage around the neck. He was great yesterday in a losing side against Fiji. Big tackle being delivered there on Robertson. But Scotland do well to retain the ball with Johnson taking it six shy of the line. Sharp start this from Scotland. Hoyland again. Samoa rushing up, looking to counter the threat presented in the midfield. So Scotland will go a little wider. And they've got some pace to burn out that way too. Terrific offloading, wonderful stuff from Scotland. Oh, yeah. James Johnson goes in. JJ slaps in our first five. I like that, JJ. James Johnson. One need of some nice passes. This is the injection. Good offload as well for Mark Robinson. The inside pass to James Johnson on a nice angle run, but that all came down from a Samoan mistake in their own 22, and Scotland make them pay. Make it seven for Scotland. They are up after two minutes of play over Samoa. That's the question I had. Can they match Samoa physically? And I think there's the answer. Yes, they can. Some good injection there by the Scottish team. Good continuity too, just showing what they can do when they hold on to the ball. And this guy's about to kick off. Scott White gets a lot of airtime under his kicks. Always contestable. He knows not to kick to the right with Selly Selly, the master. Well, he's going to make a liar of me, Carl Tanana, although he goes a little shorter. This is Selly Selly now, crashing it into the defence, he's white. Excellent play again from the Scots. Stringing the passes together beautifully. That one might be forward. No, play on is the call. And they're going to catch the touchline. Meters shy of going in again. That pass, surely that was forward. I was thinking the exact same thing. That didn't need to be thrown either. The captain, geez, that was a close call too. What assistant referee, but I didn't need... I think it needed to be thrown there, big long 30 meter pass. Yeah. Quite sure who it was. It was numbers to burn on the running holes to the Scottish team. Under the pump for the moment, Samoa. Favourites for this one, Silly Silly. Bread and butter for him up in the air, and now he links and pops beautifully. Samoa looking to 
get away on the clean break by Taloa. He's Go collared. Ladies. High tackle the call. The five. Penalty advantage here for Samoa. Taloa. One it's over. Goes deep. Hands the call from the Samoans. Looking to split this Scottish side. Good build up for the moment. For the men in white. Selly Selly does well to scoop it up off the ground, then clears the pass. To lower. Nowhere for him to go. Hold it on! The Sam Warren team going forward showing a very, very confident, very good, very crisp in their passing. Great clean out. Getting the ball out of there quickly. M.M. McGrath, obviously, starting to find his groove here with the Samoan team. Very young side, too. So, with the benefit of the Flam penalty, the Samoans can get their structure right and edge ahead. Good defence in the midfield there on oh, no, Mialoy. Yes. Now they get a shot over the ball, but Ruck was called. And they have numbers to burn here, Samoa. Over the top, the pass goes, and in and out of the hands there of Taloa. They had them on the rack. Yeah, just needed to execute here. Samoa take it quickly. I think a bit of justice, because I think there was a harsh penalty at the breakdown. And just like that, Scotland are going to have a chance to take it downtown oh he needed to release tackle on the ground there did hoyland geez that's a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by that guy tia near lloyd it had to be made as well one it's over scotland playing with some real endeavor here and samoa just losing their way a touch they have given away some fairly cheap possession in this first half. Yeah, well, they're starting to force it now, aren't they, Sean? They're taking in the contact, and Scotland, well, they're aiming up in that department. Here's the one-on-one -on -one tackle. Tila Mialoy, beautiful round the hips, gets up. He's got to release it right there. Tackle's affected. Damien Hoyland, unfortunately, he doesn't. But there was a lot of space as well. Errors made, Samoa three. He just can't do that. That's why Scotland are able to lead this game at the moment. Remember, keep the feet down. Crouch. Bind. Set. And again, Scotland come to the right side looking to Hoyland to get them going forward, and he does well. They now stretch Samoa to the left. Standing in the tackles and offloading sharply. And they go in the direct route is Riddell. Robertson, the halftime Huda Crows around the star Jean Boine and Scotland are chasing extra points in the shadows of the break. One-handed pass coming. Whoa, a big shot as well from Samoa. Oh, that is a huge play. I think it was... It was there, got all rights to it. Tapili who flew in and made the stop. That is massive from Samoa. Absolutely right, Sean. He watches here from the blind side, the captain for Scotland. What a big. <laughs> you got 110 kilos on your back. Oh, no. And Samoa happy to put an end to the half. Scotland have been excellent through the first seven minutes of play, and they are up by seven. Warren, you know, you sup, listen, boys. Well, the Scottish coach, Callum McRae, just talking to his team, saying about give the referee clean pitches. Now, what that means is like they go into a tackle they release they make sure they make it clear and obvious to the referee and then challenge the Samoan team well he's seriously talking about keep ball keep they've got to keep the ball got to keep their composure and it'll come from there don't be rushed don't be under the pump 
We're on a scrap of this one, though. This is a good game. High quality match. Samoa behind by a seven against Scotland. And we are uh, back into it. We're Here on day game. two at the Paris Sevens. And Sonny Selly digs it out. Meloy across the park to Samoa Taloa. No dramas there hanging on to it. A couple of uncharacteristic mistakes in the first half. Now he plays scrum half. Meloy. Good running, great line from Fiavai. And going through is the danger man, Meloy. He plants it, and we're going to be all locked up in just a tick. Yeah, great reply there from the Samoans. It was a nice distribution, a nice line. Hit right there by Fiavai. That's what got them through the advantage line. And this guy, well, we know how good he is, Tila Mieloy. Seven seven, all square between Samoa and Scotland. Alongside them in Pool B, uh, Fiji and Wales. Fiji getting past Wales in the game preceding this, and they were fantastic. That roar you hear around the crowd, the French side. They're coming up a little later against the USA. Just about to commence their warm up. Samoa. Soaring, bring it in to lower over the top of the head. A magical pass from to lower found. Alosio, to lower. Miloy, back to to lower. Great play in defence there from Scotland. Play on the ground. It was a some all great right defense again from Scotland. Sam Moore looking very likely, stringing some nice passes to get it getting their attack going. Jesus, uh, dogged defense from the Scotland team today. Can't fault that. It has been outstanding. Send them on. This is a contest in the air. Well taken by Mortunga. This guy has come along two in such a short space and time, playing off the bench. All very casual, wasn't it? Just laying on the deck and handing it off. Guys with such amazing skills, particularly in the air. Scotland have the possession now. Slipping across the field is five. And the holder room to move down that right flank. So Scotland tug it back to the open side. Looking to Push ahead once more. Again, the passing on the money. Riddell was brought down 20 out, and now they'll have the penalty to work with here, the Scots. What do they do? Do they tap and go get their set piece going? Do they go to the line out, which has been very good in this game? Motunga giving away the full arm penalty here. They're going to set it up. Very inventive with their set pieces from the tap kick out Scotland. Players in motion. Again, it was Hoyland down that far side. Five finds a way through the lead once more. Well, his first try in Paris this weekend. Five coming.